guys, Mrs. Talk Techie here, and for today's quick tech tutorial, I'm going to go over how to force copy a slides presentation. This is extremely useful, especially when we're collaborating with our colleagues. So a lot of the times we create our slides presentation and we share them with our colleagues. When it comes to actually tailoring them and customizing them, we forget to copy it to our drive. And what happens next? We've actually worked on our colleagues' slide presentation and they've gotten all these edits. And so in order to save ourselves from that headache, there is such a quick and easy way to do this, guys, to force copy so that when you share that link, or you might make it into a QR code, when you share it, and they access it, it's going to force them to make a copy to their drive and therefore it's going to be editable for them. And they'll never ever be able to get their hands on your original copy. I know it sounds bad, but it really does save, a, save us from a lot of work and huge headaches. We all want to be able to tailor and customize our uh, slides presentations to meet the needs of our student learners and our teaching. So let's check it out. You're going to notice that I talked way longer than what it's going to take me to show you how to do this. Super easy, guys. This is a template that I recently worked on. I'm actually working on the YouTube tutorial as we speak. Uh, it has to do with Instagram and how we can incorporate it on our Google Classroom as uh, activities. So you have like an Instagram post or one of my favorites, an Instagram profile, and I have my samples here. So they're history related, but I want to share this cross-curricular. I want to share this with my math teacher, with my science, my ELA teacher, and see what they can do and come up with it with their content. So I thought that would be really neat. Now, because I already started working on it, I don't want them to accidentally start messing with what I've already created. So let's show you how easy it is. The first thing you're going to do is go up here to the share. You want to make sure, just like mine, that the get shareable link is toggled on. You don't have to worry about can view, can edit. You leave that be because once they copy that one, they're forced to copy it. It gets copied to their drive, so it belongs to them. So they can edit it and do whatever they'd like with that. So after this, we're going to go to our URL up here. Notice where it says uh, forward slash edit. We're going to copy everything after after the forward slash, and we're going to replace that with the word copy. After that, I'm not pressing enter. I'm going to highlight it all and copy that URL. That link is the one you're going to share out to your colleagues. And so just to show you, I'm going to open a new tab here so that you can see what they're going to be prompted with. I'm going to paste that URL and this is what your colleagues will be getting. And they'll be forced to make a copy and it'll be added to their drive. I hope you guys like this tech tip and tutorial. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up, guys. That's what I work off of. <laughs> Keeps me going. And uh, don't forget to subscribe so that every time I put it, upload new content, you get notified. Uh, look out for the Instagram template. It will be coming up shortly, hopefully sometime early this week. Have a good one, guys. We'll see you later.